Welcome to Angel and Fairy Insights. I'm Courtney Long, angel communicator and fairy expert, and I'm so excited to see what the angels and fairies want us to know today and for this week. There's all this sparkly, joyful energy already coming in, and we're going to be working with the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, and there's all kinds of divine feminine power coming in, and I'm going to shuffle the cards and call on God, Source, Spirit, Universe, and our angels and fairies of light asking for guidance for this week, and here are our two cards. Okay, first card is Ein, and it's a leap of faith leap of faith and look at this gorgeous fairy in the card and how she is just leaping forward with an open heart and an open third eye is what they're showing me that she's seeing what she wants and she is going for it this is about calling on your intuition and your spiritual sight going for what you are being called to go for and they're just saying no hesitations and no doubts. If you've been in a pattern where you might feel like you've been holding yourself back, this is the time to leap forward. This is the time to take a risk, to take a divinely guided chance, to trust your intuition, to feel the fullness of your, your soul and your light, and to no longer hold yourself back, but to leap forward into the unknown. And the beauty of the unknown is that that's where the magic lies, right? If, if you stay stuck where you are, it, it seems safe because you, um, you're familiar with it, it's comfortable. So if you're stuck where you are, it's, it's just what you know. So it seems quote unquote safe. Yet the only constant in life is change. And the, <laughs> the fairies just giggled quite a bit. They are reminding us of that. The only constant in life is change. And we are actually quote unquote safer when we're following our intuition. Our ego will convince us that it's not safe to leap into the unknown. Our ego will convince us that it's not safe to change, that we should stay where we are. But our souls know that we are meant to grow. We're meant to leap forward. And if you are listening to the voice of your ego, that more fearful negative energy um, that, that is convincing you not to change when your soul is guiding you to make massive sweeping changes, that creates an inner conflict. And that inner conflict can lead to all kinds of problems, like could be money problems, health problems, relationship problems, like lack of happiness and joy and luster in your life. And what the angels and fairies are saying is you know what to do. You know the changes your soul is guiding you to make. And it, it's just about having the courage to leap into the unknown and to feel safe as you're doing so and to remind yourself that that you are a soul you are bright light in this world and that light is is a light nothing can happen to a light so yes our feelings can get hurt our bodies have some level of fragility to them they're fragile in some ways but your soul cannot ever be hurt or harmed or destroyed your soul is just absolutely incredibly beautiful and powerful and massive and the angels want you to remember that. Trust your soul. Go forward courageously and take an action step this week toward your dream or even give yourself time this week to tune into what your dream is and make a plan for how you're going to actually create this and manifest it in the physical. And so the card says, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Again, there is our action energy, right? Take action toward your dream or toward your purpose. <laughs> The fairies are always giggly, but they are giggling extra today. And they're just saying, do this in a joyful way. We're taking ourselves too seriously as humans. And I'd love to hear from you if you resonate with that. I'd love to hear in the comments below. If you feel like you're taking yourself too seriously or you're taking your healing journey or your empowerment too seriously, just be light about it and be lighthearted and even leaping forward, even going for your dream does not have to be heavy and in fact it can't be because if if you've noticed that our world is shifting tremendously and the old ways that we used to manifest no longer work the old ways of struggle and turmoil and working really hard and pushing when we do that now things don't happen we actually create more ruckus and chaos right now the vibrations of our world have shifted so high that we've got to shift our ways of being and our ways of manifesting and manifest in a more 
lighthearted, magical, playful way. And they, the fairies and the angels want you to know you really can manifest what you want in a lighthearted, playful way through joy, through pleasure, through fun. It doesn't have to be through hard work. And of course, you might have to exert some effort, take some action, and also combine that action with your intuition. Take in, intuitively inspired action steps and also just be lighthearted and be joyful. Okay, leap of faith. I'd love to hear what your leap of faith is. You probably already know. And you have the courage it takes to take that leap of faith. And the second card is Guinevere, true love. Ooh la la. This is a very exciting message. And it says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. To deliver great love to you. This could be romantic love. This could be, uh, oh my goodness, so many different things. It could be friendship love. It could be connecting with the love within yourself, your self-love and the power of love. Because this is very much a romantic message for some people. And even deeper underneath it, they're showing me mountains and they're showing me almost like a volcano. It's like going deeper and pulling out the love that is you, that you are. And, and love has the power to move mountains. Love has the power to create miracles and major shifts in your life and major shifts in this world. Just imagine if we all really felt the love that we are rather than the fear that is so predominant in our world. Feel that love and let that love be what moves you and what creates um, you know, movement in your life and what inspires you to take action and let that love be expressed. Express your love, uh, fill yourself with love and, and from that place it's so much easier to take a leap of faith because you're grounded in yourself and, and there's just, there's so much to this message. I'm curious what you're feeling or what was coming up for you because there's such a strong feeling with it. It's like tuning in to the strength of your own love and letting that love guide you. Okay, and then I'm gonna ask the, the fairies are really, uh, they're showing me all these little sparkling lights and they're, they're going on and on about the romance energy. And they're showing me a bunch of flowers and they're saying that um, you know that feeling of being in love, that feeling of magic and joy and, and where everything feels exciting and everything is lit up in a new way. And the angels and fairies want us to feel like we are in love, that we're in those really high vibes of passion and feeling in love with life. And this could come by being in love with another person. It could come by being in love with your, your work or your purpose or your expression in the world. It could come by being in love with yourself or being in love with the blessings of life. Whatever it is, but it's really about just deciding that we're ready to raise our vibration and to live in the land of love. No ifs, ands, or buts. Live in the land of love and just allow that love to guide you and lead you. And if you have been ready for romance, then what the angels especially are saying now is to invite that romance into your heart. Open up your heart. Many of us have a fear of being hurt. And, and what I say to that is, you know, we know what it's like to be hurt. So it, it, it's, it's not fun, it's not pleasant, but we've been there, we've done that. So let's just say, yeah, okay, if I love, I take a risk of being hurt and I can handle being hurt. I've been hurt before. It's not fun, but it's no big deal. It's like it's worth the risk of experiencing all the great love. And for some people, um, I'm feeling really strongly, some people are holding themselves back from really expressing their love or being in love out of this fear of hurt or rejection and even out of fear of love because as wild as it might be we humans tend to have a fear of love it's such a high vibration and it's really actually our natural vibration and so let's just really dive into the love and and be the full expression of ourselves and that often includes being in love and expressing that romance energy in the world and perhaps with a partner with a romantic partner so okay perfect let me see if there's <laughs> they're just giggling a lot today angels and fairies that is so perfect i'm gonna see if they have anything else to say they just want me to hold up both cards and just to connect these two messages that there's a leap of faith and then there's this romance energy so the leap of faith for some of you might be directly related to 
romance, to relationships, or to putting yourself out there in the world, or to even feeling beautiful, feeling passionate, feeling that love and passion energy flowing within yourself. And then for many people, this leap of faith will be about taking the next step for your divine life purpose and also taking the next step for your health and self-care and well-being. And I don't know why, they're just, this is the message they're showing me for the self-care. They're putting a hat on top of us and, and it's just like, just really focus on yourself. Um, and for some reason, this hat helps us focus on ourselves. So it's a continuation of the message that came through from the angels and fairies last week where they were just saying, we've got to put ourselves first and we've got to have the courage to do that even if it means saying no to others or clearing things out of our lives or schedules but really really remember to focus on your self-care and you're going to soar from that place okay perfect so they're saying the power is in your hands to make changes in your life and the angels and fairies are reminding you that they are here with you and that they want to help you especially the fairies want to help you kick your heels up there's like I literally am feeling this feeling of wanting to kick my feet up so like kick your heels up have fun let go just really let yourself be in the flow of love in your beautiful life okay perfect thank you angels and fairies I'd love to hear from you what this message means to you I'm so excited I always love hearing from you so thank you for sharing and if you missed the fairy meditation last week activate your inner magic you can check out the replay it's available on my online school i'll post the link below and you can check it out and watch it at your own convenience and then also applications are now open for my hawaii retreat this september with the angels fairies and me in magical kawaii you can check that out at courtneylongangels.com forward slash hawaii retreat so i hope you have a phenomenal phenomenal day and enjoy all the angels and fairies love <laughs>